Hi everyone, welcome to my 30 days SQL challenge series where I solve data analyst and business analyst related question for SQL. So today we have first question which is from UBED SQL interview questions and the question is that you have given a table of UBED transactions made by users, write a query to obtain third transitions of every user, output the results, user ID, span and transaction state. So we need for each user third transactions. So for example, this is the table we have. So for this is the first transition, this is the second transition, this is going to be the third transitions. So we want for each user their tra third transactions and the user ID span and transaction date. So we can solve this type of problem using row number. I'll just show you how we can solve it. So let's select what we need. So we need user ID. Then we need spend. How much they have spent. And then we need transaction state when they have spent the transaction state so when they have spent the money and we'll be using window functions row number here to basically solve this problem i'll explain how why we are selecting row and how we can solve using row number so row goes with over close and we'll be doing a partitions by the user id then we'll be doing order by on it comma here ordered by the transaction state let's go to next line transition date will keep it ascending order and we just bit s row number rn from the table name which is transactions now let's go ahead and see what we are getting there's mistakes so let's check transactions srn i forgot to give the alias let's just correct the column name transition date transition state so uh, what we have done basically we have selected the user id span transaction date and we have created a new column using window functions of row number so row number basically simply create a new win uh, you know column in the table and basically give a row number of each you know users and it's basically partitioned by the user so basically for each user we are giving a row number of one two three so for example for this user we have three records so for each record it will give a one you know row number like one two three and we are basically ordering it by the transaction date so basically the first transaction will come and that will get the first place then the second transition third transactions this is how for each user it will create a new row number and it, it will give a row number like this so for any kind of this type of problems we can use simply row number now what we can do is that we can use a subquery select what other things that we need we need user id then we need spend and then we need transactions date from so we need everything from need from this table that we have created so now we can go ahead and give it a alias so whenever we are using subquery in form in from then we need to give an alias of this you know the subquery so now we can use a where clause rn is going to be one sorry three so now what we are doing is basically from this you know query we are simply selecting this three column as per our you know uh, you know as per our task as as per the given task in the you know questions so we are selecting this three column and from this fourth column we are just filtering it out only we need the record where the row number is three so for let's go ahead and see now the result now you can see for each user it is giving us the third record so for example this user it's the third record where the row number was three and similarly for this user as well and this user as well so we are getting the third record of each user so we can just simply click on submit so it has been accepted so this was the first problem
now let's go to the second problem for today so the second problem we have from amazon that is on the sales data so let's see the questions first find the top five product whose revenue has decreased in comparison to the previous year 2022 and 2023 return the product name previous year revenue current year revenue and revenue decreased and decrease ratio we can find the decrease ratio by previous year revenue subtracting the current year revenue and dividing it with the previous year revenue multiplying it with 100 so let's see the table first so this is the table we have the order id order date customer name state category subcategory product name so we'll be needing product name as per asking the you know questions and then we will be needing the sales amount which is basically the revenue and we can basically compare with the previous year so we can just go ahead and you know write what are the things that we need so first we need the revenue for first we need a course revenue for the year of 2022 revenue for 2022 by product name then again we want revenue for 2023 which is going to be current year and this is going to the previous year revenue and then other then we need to compare both the revenue and then we need basically revenue decreased which we'll be finding like the previous year revenue subtracting current year revenue so revenue decreased what we need and we'll be finding it by simply previous year revenue by the current year revenue and other than that we will be needing the ratio of decrease so we will be needing all this thing so So, so we can solve this problem using CT which is which calls common table expressions so let's go ahead and see how we can solve it so first we need the revenue for 2022 so we will be calling it as like CTE1 so basically this is for the previous year revenue so we can use a with clause here with CTE1 as now in this city we need the product name and we need the revenue which is going to be we can just simply use a group by for the by the product name and, and we can use some of the sales column because our column name is sales if you just check here from the sales we will be getting the total revenue so sum of sales and we call it as revenue and the table name which is going to be from sales table where now we need this is a previous year so we'll just give it a comment here oops previous year revenue which is 2022 so now from this we will be getting the revenue and we need to use a filter conditions to select only the revenue for 2022 so we can use extract functions here so from the order date we'll be extracting all the revenue of 2022 so we can use a year functions here order date with extract year from order date from order date and compare it with 2022 so this will this query will return us the revenue for 2022 and we need to use a group by functions because we want revenue by each product total revenue of each product so group by one so that's how we got the revenue for each product let's go ahead and see that so there are the mistakes product name let's just we forgot it select here so debugging is very important i would say let me just organize it a bit so let's go ahead and now check so now we are getting for each product total revenue of the year of 2022 same we need the revenue for 2023 now then we can basically compare it so we can use one more ct with don't need to use with ct2 so now ct2 is going to be revenue of current year 2023 so basically for this city will return us revenue of current year which is 2023 so we can use similarly as so 
so this will return us the revenue of 2023 we'll simply change the year to 2023 so this sub uh, this uh, you know ct will return us revenue for 2022 and this will return us revenue of 2023 now we can compare simply both the revenue and we will be getting our results that we need so we can just select and join both the tables so we can select what we need so we need from table 1 which is the previous year revenue we need product name then we need the previous year revenue from the, this table so we need the CTE 1 which is the previous year table the first and then we need revenue which is this column then we need the for this column we need CTE 2 which is the current year revenue CTE 2 dot revenue now we can call it as like previous previous year revenue and this one we can call it as current year revenue now we need the revenue decrease percentage which is basically revenue decrease percentage is going to be previous year minus the current year so we need similarly this percentage I mean revenue decrease amount so this is going to be revenue of previous year minus so this is going to be revenue of previous year minus current year revenue of previous year and this is the current year revenue and we can name it as like revenue decreased so and then we need the revenue decrease ratio so we will again need previous year revenue minus current year revenue and multiply it 100 so we can simply use it this one multiply by the previous year revenue and then we can again multiply it with 100 to get the percentage and then we can name it as revenue decrease ratio now we can join both the table from ct1 join with ct2 so we can join on both the table has the same product name so we can join on product name ct1 dot product name is going to be ct2 dot product name product name and we will need to use a where condition because we only want to see the records where the current year revenue is lesser than the previous year revenue so we can simply go ahead and do that by selecting the previous year first the current year revenue which is this column is lesser than the previous year revenue which is this one now we need only top five we want to see only top five as per our questions so we can use a limit here now let's go ahead and see the outcome great so now we have got the product id and their ratio of revenue decreased and their revenue decreased amount so for example for this product the previous year revenue was 128 dollars and the current revenue is 109 dollars so the revenue decrease is 18 dollar and the revenue decrease ratio is 14 percent so similarly for the second product the previous year revenue is 110 dollar the current year revenue which is 31 dollar only so the de decrease is 78 dollar and the ratio is 71 percent so what we have done basically here we have first used the cte which is common table expressions so it's not a physical table it's simply creating a virtual table from our the main sales data and then we fr so from this city we are basically selecting the you know product and grouping it by the product name and finding uh, the total sales and filtering it for 2022 so basically from this table we have got for 2022 the revenue 
and the product names and then similarly we have one more you know we used one more city and in this city we have basically filtered out the data for the revenue of 2023 by the product name and after that what we have done basically we have simply selected the product name from any of the table we have selected from the this one and then i have selected the revenue which is from the first city that and that is basically previous year revenue and the revenue from the second city which is the current year revenue and then i have simply basically you know subtracted previous year revenue minus current year revenue to see the revenue decreased amount and then i have used the you know basically previous year revenue minus current year revenue and then divide it by the previous year revenue multiply with 100 to see the revenue decrease ratio so this is a simple formula you know you can also you know basically i'm sure you know that and then i have joined both the tables so i only wanted all this things to be happen only if the current year revenue is lesser than the previous year revenue so i have joined both the city using the common table column which is product name in both the table and then i have basically only selected those product where current year revenue is lesser than the previous year revenue because i don't want to see the product where the current year revenue is higher because i only want to see the which product has less revenue than the uh, you know the previous year revenue so this is how we we have solved this problem so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching it till the end if you like the video do leave a like and comments if you have any other suggestions or if you have any other way to solve this you know problem do leave a comment i would like to see them thank you so much see you next time take care